so let's just be clear. Yes. So you're a straight guy interviewing a gay guy, and you don't want to ask any dumb questions. There are no dumb questions. We're all just dumb. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to ask what coming out meant for you as a person and as a performer. And oh, it changed my life completely. It set me free. It set. I always. This is the analogy that I always give. When you live in the closet, you're standing on the shoes. There's hat boxes and shit in the way. Someone opens up the door every once in a while. The light turns on. It goes into your eyes, and then they close the door really fast. And that's how you make all your decisions. How have things changed in the industry? You've been in the industry for a long time. Yeah, so I think I've been in the industry a long time, like I'm old and almost dead. Thank you. What are the major changes that you've seen for... Uh, that there's a place for me, that I exist. Uh, 20 years ago, I didn't exist. There was no place. There was no Ellen, there was no Neil, there was no Rosie. You know, there was no nothing. It was just uh, a couple gay comics, a couple out actors like Harvey Firestein and Bruce Valanche, and there just were not a lot of gay people around mm -hmm. that were in show business. Gay mm -hmm. in show business was like, it didn't work. The, the changes that need to happen going forward. Well, what are you, I think what, what would really be neat for comedy is that if a gay celebrity was treated the same way a straight celebrity was, and that gay men supported other gay men in the same way they support Kathy Griffin and Margaret Cho. This men are just getting to the point where we're starting to support each other in the last five years, and I think Neil Patrick Harris has a lot to do with it, where you can be a funny guy and not wear a dress, and that's okay. And there's nothing wrong with drag queens, love them, but there are funny gay guys that are not wearing a dress, and we'd like to have the same support as the dress guys. Are there structural changes in the industry that you... Well, I, I, I chair the Screen Actors right. the LGBT Committee, so as an actor, um, I have aged out now playing gay because there are no gay characters over 35. We're not allowed. Why, why aren't there more parts? I think it's what Harvey Milk said, you know, a gay guy who's powerful, ooh, that's dangerous. And I think that's true because you never see two openly gay actors play a couple on television. It's always a gay and a straight. And usually the one that's more famous is the straight guy. Mm -hmm. Wonder why. Are there aspects of gay characters uh, that you would like to see explored more in movies? Yes, I'd like to see the intimacies. I love Modern Family. I think they're brilliant, but these guys do not look like they ever have sex. You can tell it's a gay guy and a straight guy playing it. Even though they're both brilliant actors and it's wonderful and it's mm -hmm. funny and I love it, but there's an element missing. So and you don't see the intimacy in a lot of the roles. You don't see that with gay people. Mm -hmm. They hide it and they're afraid to put it out there. They say, oh, mm -hmm. someone will turn the channel. Well, the, the, the deal is, is the people that don't want to watch gay people are not going to watch them. And we have to stop worrying about people that don't like us. And we have to really play to people who love us and people that don't care. You know. Everyone's not LA and New York or Chicago. Mm -hmm. The, the, the uh, reader didn't want to do a story on me because it said, oh, being gay is such a big thing. Because I was having my 20th anniversary. This is my 20th anniversary of being openly gay. They didn't see it as a big thing. And for me, I'm still making a living. It's a big deal to me, <laughs> still. Yeah. I mean, it's still not easy all the time. There are days that you just wonder, oh God, can I just be, you know, uh, myself? Why do I have to keep worrying about all this? Why do I have to deal with all these people's fears and you know, whether this or that, you know, and you still have to deal with it. So it's still hard. Sure, sure. It's still a story. <laughs> Is this your Jewish wife? Yes. Is yes. first wife or second wife? Fourth. Fourth wife. <laughs> My God, we can't get married, you keep fing it up anymore. <laughs>